Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your host and your reader, Lorraine. I'm here to do your energy reading for the collective. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. It's for the collective, so it's not really going to be about your star sign or your gender. We're just focusing really on the energy as we go into this reading. Now, it's general, so... Um, it can pick up anything to do with love, um, relationships, if you are in one or if you are fantasizing about being in one. If you're in a situationship with somebody, they've got somebody else or you might have somebody else. And there's kind of like a situation there between the two of you. If it's a soulmate connection or twin flame connection, etc, etc. You get where I'm coming from, alright? At this point, I would just get you guys to just take what resonates and just leave the rest behind. I'd also like to give a big thank you to the new subscribers. Hello and definitely hello to the existing ones as well. I hope you guys are doing really well. If you haven't already done so and you're watching this video, um, please do give us a like, a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that I, um, so that I, so that well, when I send out the um, or upload the videos for you, you will get an email to say that I've uploaded, um, you know, the latest reading for you guys. All right. So without further ado, we're going to get stuck into this reading. I feel distracted, guys. All right. So I feel that this is I'm trying to stay focused, but I'm distracted. And it's really frustrating. So I'm sensing that there's something to do with this kind of feeling of like really to a swords energy, really like you've got a lot of options right now. That's just really opened up for you. And what it is right now, um, you're just really trying to figure out what is the best angle, what's the best way for you to actually, you know, pursue your dreams right now. Okay. This is what I'm getting. Um, it feels like it's more to do with you yourself. You're pushing somebody out of your mind and really struggling to hold on and try and figure out what's going on in yourself. But this energy is very strong. This connection is quite strong. Let's see what's going on. We're going to start off with the Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see what kind of messages we've got. I'm going to pull three cards for you. Right, so we've got, by the book, we've got co-create, all right? So you really want to get things done. No cheating. You want to just go right through. Um, you may definitely have um, one of your options maybe to co-create with a person, um, somebody, or, you know, you're looking to co-create with the universe, all right? The next card that I've got for you guys message in a bottle you have somebody do you know something it feels to me that i'll be honest with you i feel that you're a little bit obsessed with this possibility of a message coming through okay you've been wanting expecting this for ages how come they haven't contacted me yet i'm saying you keep checking your phone every few minutes checking your emails checking your whatsapp checking your facebook messenger have they gone in touch? You know, when you go into the um, message requests, if they're not on your, you know, if they've blocked you or you've blocked them and you look and see if maybe, you know, there's some kind of, you know, hidden message that you didn't see yet. You are quite a little bit too obsessed with this. And I feel that this is the distraction. It's come out by itself. And, you know, those two came out together, but I'm going to take those two. So we'll just put these there. These two cards came out together. Okay, but this card, this is the, the culprit. This is the, the, uh, the distractor. This distractor. This is the one that is distracting you. <laughs> so guys, it's so late at night and um, I've, I've just been compelled to pull these cards. So when I start trying, you know, lots of things sort of tumble out of my mouth. So, you know, I have to sort of double check in here what I've got to say. So please do excuse me. You are expecting this person to contact you. You want them to. 
you want to talk to them. You are expecting them to pick up that phone and call you or type a message out and send it. Because what I see here, you're really trying to sub, like to sub, you know, to submerge it into this, um, into the sea, you know, into, you know, obviously the sea represents the emotions, the water represents the emotions, but this has been resurfacing. No matter how many times it's sort of like you want to sort of like push it down, it keeps on bobbing back up again. You're going to have to, it's either the fact that they are going to do it or they are not. Either way, you're going to have to accept what outcome this is going to be. How long are you going to wait? How long have you been waiting for? 15 months? 15 years? 15 days? 15 weeks? 15 hours? 15 minutes? How long? Because I feel that you're, you need to set your sights okay, on your future and on other things. This is not, I'll be honest with you, this message is not relevant right now. It's not going to help you with nothing. That's exactly what I'm picking up here. And there's a quite, there's a real realistic kind of vibe right now. I feel that you, you need to stay single so that you will be able to get to the next stage in your life because it's it always starts with you. It doesn't start with this message. Take your mind off of this message because it's going to keep, it's, it just keeps you distracted. You're supposed to be with your telescope looking and seeing where you're supposed to be going, but you've it's like you've stopped halfway and you're looking and seeing what's going on here. It feels a bit obsessive. Okay. Let's have a look at what's happening with the tarot. I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot Festival. So I'm just going to give this deck a little bit of a shuffle because I didn't really get to do it earlier. I, di I did um, before I just pulled up the decks, before I pressed record, but I just want to, it just feels like it needs a really good shuffle. feels better and it needed it felt a bit stiff so no commitment yeah you really can't move on you're supposed to be committed to your goals and your dreams this cycle has ended but I feel that what's going on is that you really do want there to be something you want there to be commitment you want there to be love you want there to be security and happiness and marriage and uh, you know a real because it feels like it should be that way you, according to you, you believe that this is meant to be. Nobody can't tell you any different, okay? You don't want this to be over. But the fact is, is that you're going to have to expect, um, you know, the possibility that they may not ever contact you. You're not a mind reader. Whatever kind of energies in that that you're picking up, I feel it's out of, it just feels to me that it's out of heartbreak. They really upset you, they've broke your heart. When all you can do is just hold on to whatever memory that you can grasp, but it was such a long time ago. Let's get the next deck, let's get the next card, sorry. The full card, you're not, again, look, it's in reverse. You're not really wanting to take any risk. You are so distracted. Your focus is about going by the book and co-creating. That's supposed to be what you're focusing on, but you're not. You don't want, you don't want this to end. And, and the thing is, with this detachment energy, there's fear that's attached to this. Because what you fear is that you will forget them. That's what you're afraid of. This isn't going to apply to everybody, okay? And I know there's going to be certain viewers that are going to be like, what the hell is she talking about? And it's not going to be me. It's not me. 
I can't wait to forget about that MF. You know, but this person in particular, they cannot help the way how they feel. Because they've realized they are their person, they are their soulmate. That's why I said, darlings, if, if this section, if this reading doesn't apply to you, only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay? This is also covering your sun in rising and Venus and Jupiter signs as well. So anywhere in the placement, remember, it's always about the energy. You know, this is what you need to be coming out from. This to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, bobbing up and down, bobbing up and down. Like, is he going to call me? You know, I don't know what's going on. Or like, is she going to ring? <coughs> so excuse me um and this is you know it's like seriously if they will not if they don't care about you why are you allowing them to kill your dreams why you know that you know i mean i mean for some of you guys you may have seen evidence that they do have somebody else that they've given their commitment they've given their love they've given their body to somebody else. They probably share the same surname now. Okay? This person is trying to get on with their lives. I don't, I, you know, I'll check and see if, you know, whatever message I'm going to get from that message bottle. I don't know. We're going to have to look into that. Because it just feels to me that this person is so, the trail is so cold. It's like it's dead. What do we have here? We've got eight of cups. This is what you need to do. Because we're, what you're doing, you are drowning in your own tears. And you know what song I'm hearing as well? Um, just now. Oh, gosh. That sort of retro song from the 50s or 60s or whatever. It's called Tears on My Pillow. Pain in my heart caused by you. Um, if you just type in like tears of my pillow, I think Kylie Minogue had covered it like you know decades ago. It's like this this song is old, but this is what I just heard, and I can hear the lyrics, I can hear the the melody, the song. You are gonna have to, and you know you're gonna have to just buckle up, strut your stuff. <coughs> throw your shoulders back, hold your head up high and keep it moving. Because I tell you something, you are in a very low vibration. I'll be honest with you. Okay. And I feel that you need to acknowledge this energy and, you know, acknowledge the frequency. And then you're going to have to start to transmute that negativity into positivity. Allow your heart chakra to be filled with love and forgiveness and protection and comfort and then it will help you to move on because this is not a very healthy way to live if they're living their lives and they've moved on you've got opportunities that's coming your way life-changing opportunities a real opportunity for you to get your stability and your security with you know financially secure your finances are going to be sorted out but you are allowing a ghost to ruin your present and your future. Look at this. Look at this. See? Because you know that it's you know that it's the truth. You know that it's not I'm not lying. You're so stressed out about this person. You're so stressed. They don't love you. That's what you're saying to yourself. They don't love me. They don't want to talk to me. But I'm still holding on. I can't let go. Look at that. And you've got the Queen of Swords. Decisive action needs to be taken right now. You need to get the clarity. And the thing is, you know. You know. As I just said, you know that they don't love you. They don't want... You know, well... Some of you are saying that, but you don't know what's going on with them. You really don't know. Because there's no contact. And I feel if you're going to be really emotionally sort of hurt, because you've got that eight of cups, you've got the nine of swords, 
You've got the two of pentacles in reverse, so, you know, there's a lot of juggling going on. And then you've got this queen of swords. This can lead to bitterness. The queen of swords can lead to bitterness as well, even though she's upright. And, you know, getting wise as well, because the thing is, you need to get wise. You need to get wise. And you need to get that sword and you need to start cutting off the energy. Cut it off. Set yourself free. You see what I see going on here? With this flock of birds, okay? As I said, you need to cut yourself away from this situation so that you can set yourself free. There's only one bird in this Queen of Swords card, okay? That has been set free from all of this kerfuffle. It's drama. You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. Let's have a look at what's at the bottom of the deck. We've got, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is supposed to be you. Remember what I said to you about the opportunity. The Spirit is saying is that you need to, don't, don't, do you not find this more appealing? Or do you find this more appealing? What, which one would you, do you think best describes you? The left or the right? Because again, you, you need to start really, you know, in this energy of really thinking, thinking very clear, you know, about your finances, about your future. This Queen of Pentacles is you as well, as well as the Queen of Swords. Because I feel that what you're trying to do is to manifest, imagining yourself being able to um, have that stability. And if you combine the two energies together, you're halfway of becoming the Empress. But I find that these would be two very good um, cards as a combination because it's about being very methodical as well as extremely realistic and not focusing on emotional decision making because you've got to be grounded. Whatever you've gone through in this heartbreak and heartache, it's going to make you feel more grounded within yourself. You're going to get that experience. You're going to have to allow that person to bounce. Okay, let's do some clarifications. Let's have a look and see what's happening this Hierophant in reverse in the world card. What is stopping you? Are they stopping you or are you stopping yourself? You've got the ace of feathers. So I do believe that this is you stopping yourself because you don't have the mental clarity. Okay, there's no foundation. This is in reverse. It's Ace of Feathers. It's the Ace of Swords. And also, this is about something that you don't have no victory over, but you don't have no control over this. All right? So this is what is preventing this cycle, this world card, from really turning upright because there's lack of clarity. <coughs> And this is preventing you from really taking that risk. And this is the page of feathers. So you're not exploring. You don't want to discover nothing about yourself. You don't want to do nothing. But just stay in this energy of suffering. The page of feathers is the page of swords. So this is also what you need to be focusing on. And doing it and becoming if you're going to be focused on this message that's not coming through, you are going to be blinding your vision, okay? And with the Page of Swords, this is about you spying. Well, it's a spy card, but it's about you really researching and looking into, you know, whatever it is that you're supposed to be studying, okay? Really getting some information out there. But because it's in reverse, you're not getting anything. Two of Pentacles is in reverse, and we've got the Eight of Shells, Quest Renewal, the same card as here. This is what's making you stop the two, the two of um, pentacles energy. Walking away. You need to go on your own personal quest so that you'll be able to feel some form of renewal. And this is what's happened. You've decided to just keep it moving forward. <clears throat> Maybe you had, um, you know, um, got information from another person, you got advice, 
You've got the hanged man. Okay, so you've got a perspective. You saw things in a higher social perspective because it made perfect sense. It made perfect sense, darling. You was enlightened to leave. With the Nine of Swords, I feel that this is about where are you going? What's going to happen to you? And this is the chariot. Because, you, yeah, as I said, you're worried about where you're going to go. <clears throat> and this is also, sorry guys. Okay, so we're talking about communication because my throat chakra is messed up. It's dry. It's, um, <coughs> it's like tickly as well. So you need to be able to start to struggle to get your words out in the correct way as well okay and you need to be very honest with what you need to say as well i feel if this person does contact you what are you going to say what's the first thing you're going to say okay but also you need to hold on to this authenticity wherever you're going to be going you need to hold on to your realness with this chariot card you are being driven away this is the universe universe this is the viewer the person that's watching this reading, they are in this energy, nine of swords. So what the universe is going to do is they're going to drive you away from this. Okay. And they're going to make you now um, transition from the nine of swords straight into the queen of swords. It's going to help you to put in the work. And you've got the sun card. Look at that. Vitality and joy. What a fantastic card to end on. The bottom of the clarifying deck is the Queen of Feathers in reverse. Okay? Which is the Queen of Swords. You've got a lot of swords in your reading. Okay? So this is seriously about... You need to be looking at things from various different angles. Because what, it, what it's saying as well... Again, you are being blinded by this assumption that this person is going to send you a message you are not getting the truth out there's no mental you know there's no clarity there's nothing and what spirit is saying is that you need to adapt to the queen of swords in the upright position not in the reverse because right now this is where you are in the reverse position okay now i did say i wanted to find out about what this card is why this card is there. So let me just pull. Oh, I'm just going to use this one. It's just there. So it's happening. Why is this message card really holding you back? Because it is. It's really holding you back. You really need to stay focused. They're not allowing you to stay focused. I'm going to take that card there. That flipped down for me. You've got the Prince of Staves, which is the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. I feel there was a little bit of immaturity there. Okay. You are, they, they're definitely younger than you. No life experience. This card wants to show itself. What is it? New beginnings. If that person, it, see, the thing is, don't be waiting on this person. Don't allow this person to kill off your full card. This is new beginnings. Remember, you've got the full card right there, but it's in reverse. Okay? You are not seeing things properly. You're not seeing your blessings. Your blessings are trying to reach out to you. This is what you need to be focusing on. The, the By the book and the co-create. Because I do believe that you've got a beautiful... Look at, you ended on the sun card. You ended on the sun card. And this really is... I'm telling you, you just need to just tweak your mindset just slightly. Raise those vibrations. Because you can do it. You've got it. You've got it within you. The moment that you change your mindset, everything falls into place. And when I say by changing your mindset, I mean changing your mindset for the for the um, positive side so that you can connect with your higher self your higher self and you will create magic it would be the most amazing thing ever you'd be so successful because it's your destiny you are shielding yourself away from your destiny 
And your destiny is not to stay in any kind of 3D low vibration. You are supposed to experience the 3D, you know, and low vibration, yes. Acknowledge it, face it, deal with it, transmute it into um, positive energy, and that's going to help you to ascend to the next level. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Learn from this situation. Learn from it. Understand the way how it makes you feel. Experience that and say, okay, right, well, I've been in this situation for like 10 years. And during that period of time, I have felt this, 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 this. You then pick up the main parts of those that pain. You transmute it into love. And then you start to feel so beautiful about yourself. People are going to start to flock towards you because your light is shining so bright. And look at that. You've got the sun card. You've got the sun card that you're ending on. The, the card of abundance, vitality, joy, love and light. Okay? Guys, this is a beautiful reading. It really, really is. I just hope that this is going to be... Um, able to just give you a little bit of advice and insight and guidance into your situation because at the end of the day darlings this is down to you you are the one that is going to make that decision at the end of the day this is not my decision to make for you now at the bottom of this deck i haven't even seen it yet but i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it up for you and what i don't know what it says let's see what it says oppression now the um so what is this the wall, the, sorry, the Wawalak, the Wawalak, okay, um, I hope I was able to say that in a way that wasn't insulting to anybody, <laughs> but oppression, now, this is the 16 card, okay, this is the tower card in the traditional tower, now, it's in the reverse, so I feel that you have really gone through, um, quite a really tough time to say the least okay um and it just feels as if yeah you had to go through that heartbreak in order to feel um you know that you're going to get some somewhere now because you you've experienced it already now you know what it's all about now this is your time to really start to to shine now You've only, I, I just feel that you've only got one chance at this. This feels like it's a lot, um, a chance in a lifetime, okay? So you just have to kind of like be patient with yourself. Trust the universe, trust the process. Because what you're experiencing, yeah, it is disappointment. You feel really like you want, you want movements to be making. You want them to contact you so that this um, sort of tower card moment, this life-changing shift is going to be, the paradigm shift that you're looking for. But if they don't contact you, what's going to happen then? Okay? So, guys, I'm going to leave this huge task for you. This is like a quest of a lifetime. You're the one that's going to make this decision at the end of the day. Put in the work. Put in the work for yourself. Get those vibes high. Stay out, you know, just... just transition ease yourself out from that 3d low vibe energy because i feel seriously that they could be on that energy too or to be fair they could very well be working on themselves and ascending as well but it's just that the fact darling is that you and them were not compatible that's another way of looking at this as well they're not your person if they're your person fair enough they may come back and then you know exactly how to deal with that energy and that situation, okay? God willing, you know, you you just got to just do what you got to do. But I feel that right now, Spirit's saying that you need to be focusing on working on yourself. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, you've got the Queen of Swords, you've got the Sun card. You've got the World card, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, sorry, um, the Full card. Okay? You've got some really strong cards here. But what you do with those, with this information... It's down to you, darling. It really, really is. It's down to you. I really hope that, you know, you're going to be one of those viewers that's going to just adapt to it, take it on board and say, right, okay, I'm going to use this to fuel 
the energy that I need to ascend. Okay? But do it with humbleness. Be grounded as well. Be grateful. Be, be grateful for the experience. Be grateful to know exactly what that feels like because I feel that when you start to rise up, you're not going to have that kind of time or that energy or that kind of preference. People that will try to manipulate you, oh, they'll try it once and that's it. It ain't going to happen again. In fact, because they will be energetically removed from your life. This is what happens when you start to, you know, to ascend. All right? The right people are going to come in. Maybe this person, they needed to shift out so that it's going to allow a new message to come through, a new message of hope, a new message of love, laughter, fun, and vitality and joy. All right? Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I'm very glad I did it. I hope that it's going to be very helpful for you in your journey. And um, Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can always share it as well. Don't forget as well to hit that bell below the screen so that you can be informed by email once I've uploaded more contact sorry more contact i said contact you may get a contact you may that i wasn't meant to say contact